Hi everyone and welcome to the demo on the integrated storage automatic snapshot demo. Now this is an enterprise feature and it is a feature that just came out in Vault 1.6. This feature enables an operator to schedule snapshots of the integrated storage backend, often known as Raft, and ensure that those snapshots are persisted elsewhere beyond just the Vault nodes themselves. Now on the screen here, I've got my Vault cluster running up in AWS. So I'm going to do a Vault status, and you can see that I'm actually running version 1.6.1. Now this is because I discovered that there was a bug in 1.6.0, and it was related to using KMS with this feature. So if you look in the release notes, which is actually today in 1.6.1, there's actually a bug where there's the parameter was messed up in regards to choosing the KMS key that you use to encrypt the data when it's stored on S3. So because of that, I'm going to use Vault 1.6.1, which provides that bug fix and it works perfectly. All right, so in order to do this, it's actually a pretty simple configuration, but let's take a look at AWS first. So over in AWS, I have an S3 bucket and this bucket is called Production Vault Snapshots. Now, if we go into this bucket, you can see it's empty. I don't have anything in there. This is the target bucket that we want to place our snapshots in. The other thing I want to look at is the KMS console. In the console, you can see I have a key called HashiCorp Vault Demo with a key ID ending in 71 AD. This is the KMS key that I want to use to encrypt our data once it's placed in S3. Now, back at our cluster, let's start the configuration. So the first thing it will do is ensure that there are no configurations for automatic snapshots on this cluster. So to do that, we'll do a vault list and we're gonna list out any configurations under sys storage raft snapshot auto and config. You can see that there are no configurations underneath of this path. So let's create one. We're gonna start off with vault write sys. Again, we're gonna type out the same exact path storage raft auto config and we're going to give it a name called hourly all right so that's going to be the start of our command now we need to provide all the parameters in order for vault to start taking snapshots automatically now the first thing i'm going to add is the interval now the interval tells vault how often that we want to take snapshots since i named this hourly you'd think that i want to put one hour here or 60 minutes However, for demo purposes, I'm just gonna put two minutes so that way we can see several snapshots being taken during this demo. Again, normally you would just put 60 minutes if you want it taken hourly. The next thing we wanna add is add the retain parameter. This parameter tells Vault how many snapshots to maintain on the S3 storage backend. So I'm gonna tell it 336, which is an hourly snapshot and that keeps all the snapshots for up to two weeks. The next I'm gonna do is storage type storage type here is important because it's going to tell Vault where we want to store these snapshots. There are quite a few options in here, including local. However, we don't want to store our snapshots local. We want to store them elsewhere. That way, if this Vault server does go down for some reason, we don't also lose our snapshots. In this case, I'm going to use AWS S3. Now we're going to start configuring all of our AWS bucket stuff. So Amazon S3 bucket and we are going to provide it with the bucket name that we saw over in AWS. So production vault snapshots. So I'm just going to copy that, put it in here. Now the next thing we want to do is tell it what region that bucket lives in. So in my case, that bucket lives in US East one. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to tell vault that we want to encrypt this data on S3 using KMS AWS. S3 enable KMS equals true. So this is either true or false here. It defaults to false. And the last thing we're going to do is provide vault with the ID of the KMS key that we want to use in order to encrypt our data in S3. So AWS S3 KMS key, and I'm going to copy and paste this from AWS again. So I'm going to grab the key ID and we're going to put it in here. Again, this is the parameter where there was a bug in Vault 1.6.0. If you didn't plan to use KMS, you could use 1.6.0 without a problem. However, if you wanted to specify the KMS key to use, you need to use 1.6.1 
so it won't use the default KMS key. All right, so that is our configuration. So we're gonna write this configuration. We're gonna call it hourly. Again, interval, we're gonna change it to two minutes just for the demo purposes. However, you probably wanna put 60 minutes. We're going to retain 336 snapshots. The storage type is AWS S3. The bucket that we're gonna save it in is production vault snapshots. We're in USD1. We do wanna use KMS and here is the key that we want to use. So if I press enter on this, we've successfully written that. And if we go to do a vault read on here and we just copy this path again and paste that on here, you can see all the configuration in here. Again, here's our bucket, here's our key, all that stuff that we just configured. Now let's see if it worked. Let's go over to Amazon S3. Let's click into our bucket. We're gonna refresh that and look at that. We already have a snapshot from vault. So if we go into the snapshot, we can actually scroll down. You can see that we are using our key that we set up. If you click into it, this is our HashiCorp vault demo key. So the last thing we want to do now that we know that this works properly is that I wanna show you the configuration of vault and the permissions that are needed in order to make this work. So we are going to go into EC2. I'm gonna go into my instances and click on one of my nodes and go into my role. Now I'm going to expand the role and if we scroll all the way down, to the bottom of the policy. Now I have a specific policy in here to allow S3 bucket access for creating and deleting snapshots. So in this case, I'm allowing S3 put object and S3 delete object. I am allowing for that resource for our bucket called production vault snapshots and anything called star dot snap. So that's what it's gonna have access to. There are other permissions in here, including list bucket and list bucket versions, along with list bucket and get object for the bucket itself. And that allows us to browse the S3 bucket from the vault node in order to find snapshots that we may want to restore into vault. So that's basically the demo here. Again, we can go back to S3 and we can see if we have another snapshot, it's probably at least two minutes. Yep, there we go, we have another snapshot in here. So we have one at 2144 and 2146. Now, if you wanted to look at the logs, you can look at the journal logs. So journal CTL, and we can do a, just a follow here. And you can see right here, we did a snapshot uh, 46. So we did one here at 44. We did one at the 46th minute. Uh, if we wait you know, another two minutes, we will get another snapshot. That's the easy way to look at logs to see what's happening. If you run into errors, or problems when you are trying to configure this, the journal log is a good place to show what's going on. So if you have an error or permission denied or something like that, it will show in the journal logs. Thanks for watching the demo. Hopefully this was valuable for you and look forward to seeing you in another demo.